Greetings to each and everyone. It's I and I again here at Ricky's Alkaline Market Garden and Food Forest where we do everything differently. 100% organic and we look to nature and Mother Earth for our guidance. We're pleased to say that we're on the verge of reopening the Market Garden Food Shop where the roof got blown off for those of you who didn't know and hopefully we get everything ready for you. So come this Sunday, we're opening and we're gonna be having alongside, as you know, we're bringing our exotic stuff for the exotic people. And we also do our local produce for our local friends and families. So on offer this week, we will be having onions, callaloo, sage, lettuce, oranges, jelly coconut, things from off the farm and things that we bring in from the exotic areas in and around the world. We're looking forward to seeing you soon there and we're hoping that for the rest of the year we can open the farm shop for you as long as we're the permits and we have the right food for the right people, for the good people so we can take it to the next level, next season. Now one of the reasons why we weren't opening was as we mentioned before was the roof got blown off and we had to repair it and we had to also rethink it so this new farm shop that you we will see we are now saving the gathering the water from off the roof for watering the plants we are growing subtropical stuff inside the shops and we'll be growing microgreens inside the shop that you can get freshly cut just for you one of the other things as well that we'll be doing differently as well is the shop will be having closed doors on it when it's not being in use so it can keep the heating and you've been used as a greenhouse rather than just a farm shop at the top of the field as you can see we took the time out to set up our subtropical area we will be growing pomegranates mango trees as a test greenhouse we also will be growing um, apples plums pears oranges from Jamaica um, avocados from Jamaica mangoes from Jamaica East Indian and um, Julie for those who love those kind of mangoes so we can see with what's happening in the climate and how they're treating Mother Earth badly and she's getting more and more warmed up and roughed up so we can show that a lot of things that we could not grow in England once can be grown now if you do it the right way and that is connecting back with mother nature building the ecosystem and trying to infuse all of the good things from modern and old agriculture to bring it to the forefront to save ourselves because we can't save mother earth mother earth don't need saving to save ourselves from total destruction at the moment we are poisoning the water table we are, we are poisoning the air and we have to clean all of that and we have to find a better solution and that's what we're here for so looking forward to seeing you on sunday and your turnout will depend determine your turnout will depend on how and if we're going to open the shop because I'm, don't forget we're doing it for you and if you don't turn out then we ain't gonna we can't sell nothing then we can't make no money then we can't open the shop so you are a determined factor and for you those of you who didn't know we are hoping from 10 until 4 this Sunday and hopefully every Sunday after that leading up right up into Christmas. We don't celebrate Christmas as Rastafarian people but we don't bash anyone who choose to do that. So we are going to say what they say, winter wonderland in England, we'll be here still. Blessed love and see you soon.